Last season, audiences were introduced to the small town of Deerfield, where a mysterious machine called the Morpho appears at a local store, promising to reveal each resident's true potential. Now, the award-winning hit, The Big Door Prize, is back for a second season and is sure to leave audiences on the edge of their seats. Take a look. That thing will tell you your life's potential. The Morpho has made everybody think about their dreams. And now it's saying, are you ready for the next stage? How do we get to the next stage? That's a really good question. Joining us now is the show's creator, David West Reed and Chris O'Dowd, who plays Dusty. Thank you both for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for having us, Phil. <laughs> you are a funny guy. People couldn't hear you during the commercial break. but um, When I saw the promo for this show, I can't remember. I can't remember when it was, but it, I went, wow, that's a fascinating, interesting idea. Um, what got you to that point in this sort of mystical world? Well, uh, the show is based on a book by Emma Walsh, The Big Door Prize. Yep. And uh, I was so drawn to, it's really a comedy about what it means to be happy. And it has these moments of very silly, over the top hilarity. And then it's also very heartfelt. It's also a little bit magical. And it just felt like anything, uh, unlike anything else. So I was really excited to adapt it to TV. Well, just knowing him for three minutes, it seems like you picked <laughs> the right guy for Dusty. <laughs> what drew you to the role when you, when you saw the script? Well, I, I thought the story was very engaging. And the idea of this almost social experiment in the middle of the show which asks people in this kind of microcosm of America, in this small local town, if a magic machine turned up and asked you, would you like to change the direction of your life? Would you take that choice? Last season ended with the Morpho machine displaying this message that we sort of just saw asking, are you ready for the next stage? So <laughs> you said it was a good question. David, what's the next stage? Well, we get to see in the second season, once people are confronted with this idea of what their potential might be, what are they willing to do in order to achieve it? And uh, we see characters, including Chris's Dusty, taking some pretty big risks to explore that other life path. Right, there's knowing and then there's pursuing. Right. Um, and so Dusty, at the end of last season, suspended on a Ferris wheel, right? That's Contemplating right. Uh, the future of his relationship. It wasn't ideal, Phil. Well, it wasn't ideal no. for you, no? no? So what happens? What Can you give us any kind of what happens to Dusty? Well, when we leave him at the end of season one, he's in the midst of a midlife crisis throughout the show. And one of the consequences of that is he's questioning his long-term relationship with his wife of over 20 years. And he decides, or they decide, to maybe try something else. So he goes into the dating pool, as does she. And, I mean, it doesn't go wonderfully because, <laughs> you know, he's basically a moron. <laughs> Socially, romantically, in lots of ways, he's, he's really smart. But he's at the stage where he's been in a relationship so long, his virginity is growing back. And, <laughs> and everybody can see that. Everybody could see it, Phil. So he's just out there trying to make a life for himself. I have never heard it put like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are a lot of fun. David, um... You, you use the word mysterious. You could look at this and see the, the the mystical nature of it. But I think at the heart, it's really about, and Chris does a good job sort of describing it, it with some humor. But it's really about relationships, is it not? And and isn't that what isn't that what sort of we all can relate to? Yeah, I think there's one magical element in a very grounded world, and it's more of a catalyst for the story of which is about people and relationships. And, um, you know, considering the, not only the path you haven't taken in your life, but the path that you have taken. And that idea of, you know, not only imagining some other life, but celebrating the one that you have. So, you know, to me, that was a really rich idea for a show. And you get to see that through so many different perspectives and such an amazing cast in the second season. All right, David and Chris, thanks so much for joining us tonight, stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And you can watch season two's first three episodes of The Big Door Prize, April 23rd on Apple TV+.